Hey, PC Games Girl here, and hello and welcome to part three of The Sims 3 Generations. I was going to wait to start this part until it was morning for The Sims, and then I heard a trash can fall over and found this dead gum raccoon. And guys, this sucks. Stupid raccoon is attacking our trash, so I'm going to have Little Miss Princess chase it and hiss at it and just in general make it go away bad raccoon leave my trash alone fluffy little jerk come on princess hurry up come chase away this stupid raccoon come on kitty I have faith in you come on before it leaves and gets away with its crimes come on princess come on Oh yeah, and also I put porch lights out on the front porch because I completely forgot to do that when I first made the house. I put the flowers that Julia got on her date out there, and I also changed her work outfit so that it is much, much more career appropriate than the athletic-like attire it put her in for whatever reason. Alright, come on, princess. Get rid of this stupid raccoon. Make it go away. Be mean to it. Chase it off. Make it leave us. Make it leave us alone. Come on, kitty. You can do it. I have faith in your ability to scare the raccoon. Lance, stop that. Sorry. Lance is my real life cat, and he's being a little bit naughty right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Yay. She wanted to chase it anyway. Yeah. That's a good girl, princess. I want a screenshot of her doing this to this horrible raccoon. I mean, I don't really have anything against raccoons except, well, they're not allowed to go through my trash can. That's just not okay. That's just not okay. Not okay. Not okay. I don't agree with it. It's not cool. Ooh. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. That made her more aggressive. Oh, well. As long as she gets rid of the raccoon, that's all I care. Go away, raccoon. No one wants you here. You are not welcome because you do bad things. <laughs> Come on. Make it live. Ooh, dang. She made an enemy out of him. Good job, princess. Maybe he won't bother us anymore. Let's see. You don't have a relationship with the raccoon. That's weird. Oh, well. Come on. Mean. Hiss at him. Hiss at it. And then chase it away again. Chase it. Make it leave us. Alright. Now for my humans. Alright, you need to wake up, buddy. You're, you're almost awake anyway, and you're starving. I don't want him to starve like he did last time. That was just sad. Eat some of the salad you made. Oh, okay. Because he made salad off camera, too. And let's see. Yes, I hear you hissing. Good girl, princess. Good girl. Thank you. I don't want you to be an aggressive cat, but I don't want that raccoon to get away with his crimes either. <laughs> Alright. Julia, I'm making you wake up right here and now, because I don't want you to be late either. And I want you to actually wear your career outfit. Alright, change outfit. Career 2. Alrighty. And then she can head off to work. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, hey now. Is the raccoon being mean to her? What's she doing? Oh, oh jeez. She's chasing him. Oh jeez. Carpool for Julia will come in about one hour. Oh dang. Princess! Princess! Oh jeez. Princess. Princess, my poor darling. Okay. It's a good girl. You've been mean enough to that raccoon. Hopefully he, he gets the memo. <laughs> Oops, not N-R-A-S. Dag nabbit. Okay, litter box. Go use your litter. Alright, Daniel, what do you need to do? You need to use the human equivalent of a litter box. Why do you keep making noises, dude? Here. You... Oh yeah, that's right. He's neurotic, so I can totally take advantage of that. Get back here. No. I cannot click on you when you keep moving like that. Okay. Now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Freak out! That way you'll be all serene and calm when your kids come for their daycare. And you, Miss Jules, take care of your dirty dish. Yes, I know you want to. We might go to the summer festival, but not just now. 
Okay, yeah, clean the dishes because you're already doing that. There we go. Good job, good job. Yay. There. Daniel just freaked out. Good. She's wearing normal clothes to work, guys. Because she's a policewoman, so she really shouldn't be just, like, you know, half naked going to work. That just makes no sense. <laughs> so, okay, Jules looks a lot better. What, what on earth is your issue, Mr. Daniel? Oh my goodness. Quit whimpering. I promise. Life is not that horrible. Oh my gosh. Aw. Beg for food. What is this? React neutrally. Okay. That's that's cool. Princess. You're in Daniel's way. He needs to shower. Come on. Move your furry kitty butt. Oh jeez. Are you in Princess's way? Oh my gosh. Sims routing is absolutely dreadful. I really am excited because they said that they're gonna fix this for The Sims 4 so that they can actually move where they need to go, which is amazing because, as you can probably tell, the routing in The Sims 3 is pretty terrible. All right, Miss Princess. What do you need? You're gonna go scratch? Good girl. Okay. Let's get ready for those kids to come. Oh yeah, let's turn on the TV. Speaking of, oop, not play video game. Turn on. There we go. How oh, good. Looks like it's on the kids channel again, so that's helpful. Alright, his daycare workday just began. Oh goody, goody gumdrops. Oh boy, someone else is here with Abby this time. Oh wait. Oh, Savannah something and Abby. Okay, good. Just making sure it's the same kid. Oh yeah, and because I forgot to show it off before, I will show you this. It says amateur babysitter, because that's his job title right now. Nine to seven, general daycare. Take care of the toddlers and children, befriend the kids, and deal with daycare emergencies for clients as they come. And he's almost, but not quite, halfway to a promotion. So I have no clue if he's going to get promoted in this part. Hopefully, but we'll see. We will see. That would be great if he would. Come on, get done in the shower. You have children to care for now, buddy. Lancelot, stop that. Sorry, my cat is being annoying again. Here, I'm going to pause for just a quick second to get my real cat out of the way and then I will be right. Okay, sorry about that. Now that my real life kitty crisis has been averted, I'm going to have Mr. Daniel feed the baby. Because that baby has a hungry icon. Let's see. Oh no, what about Dimitri? Dimitri is... Ew, smelly. He's very smelly. So we're going to change him since we haven't shown that off just yet. All right, come on, Daniel, hurry up. Feed babies, change babies' diapers, make babies' lives better. There you go. Oh, good. Dimitri's using the little activity table. Yay! That's good getting some love today guys because see it has little crayons and paper for them to color on and it's got blocks in the middle it's super cute I like it all right come on there we go let's give that kid a diaper change all right Jules you at work good you're working properly all right go ahead and chat with your partner she actually made it to work on time guys holy cow Yay! <laughs> Yay! Alright. Change that kid's diaper, and then what's the kid need? What's Dimitri need? I don't know. We'll find out once he's no longer smelly. Come on. Oh no. What's wrong with you, Abby? What do you want? Abby. Move, Abby. Abby, you're in my way. Fine. I'll just change his diaper normally. And then... Feed him. And then, what's she need? More fun? Yeah. Alrighty. Attack with the claw. And toss in the air. Come on. There we go. Okay. Yay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Abby, what do you want? You want love? We'll give you love. Oh, you smell funny. Okay. Hey, maybe we can change Abby instead then. That would work. Okay. What's wrong with you, Miss Princess? What's wrong with you? Okay, you're a little lonely and you need some energy. Why don't you go ahead and nap up on the couch? What's this? Oh, 
I don't know. Whatevs. Okay. Come on, Daniel. Go get the baby. There you go. Oh yeah, and from when I made him freak out since he's a neurotic sim, he has this tranquil moodlet. Nothing can stress or anger sims who have reached their happy place from freaking out. So it's really, really nice. If you have a sim with a neurotic trait and you click on them and make them freak out, then their fun meter won't go down nearly as fast, and if they're super stressed out, it'll get rid of that stress. So it's super, super helpful, especially if you're having them take care of kids. That's actually the reason I made him be a neurotic sim. <laughs> Was because that just actually makes him better at it, because if he's starting to freak out, he can fix stuff. Whoa, that looked weird. Oh. <laughs> Okay, something should not be sped up. Some animations look really scary when they're sped up. Alright. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> she was floating, guys. Why are there always floating babies in my game? I do not understand. <laughs> oh my gosh. I do not understand what's up with the floating babies. But yeah, see, he's just changing her diaper. Hopefully she doesn't pee on him, because that can happen, and it really, really sucks when that happens. <laughs> okay, good. She seems to be doing better. How about little Dimitri? He wants more fun. Well, he's doing things that give him fun right now, namely playing with that peg box he seems to enjoy so much. What about you? Oh, good, she's in a great mood. Yay! Yay! This babysitting thing's not too terribly bad yet. Oh man. It's when we get like four toddlers and have children to deal with too that it'll be insane. But for now it's pretty good. Let's see. Let's have him... Daniel, can you play with the kid? Whoa, what did I just click on? What did I click on? I don't even know what I clicked on. Okay. Play with Dimitri. Go do that. Go play with the kid. Here we go. Aww. This is adorable! That's so cute. <laughs> What's he doing? Is he trying to show him which... Whoa, hello, thing that looks a bit like a meth lab. Um... <laughs> oh, Yay! They're so cute! He's trying to show him which ones to put it in. So cute! Alright, how is the kid doing, speaking of which? He wants more fun while well, he's having fun. How's Miss Abby? She's still doing great. Oh, she's hungry. All right. Go feed her. Go feed her. Give her food, Daniel. Give her some food. There we go. Good job. Now, let's see. Oh, princess is sleeping on the counter by her kitty grass. Yay. Let's see. Oops, what's Dimitri want? He's good. He's having some fun. What's this? Look out window? Uh, why are you just gonna stare out the window? <laughs> that seems kind of lonely and sad somehow. Uh, okay, dude, you're cool. Let's see. What's Abby need? Is she good? She wants more fun, but she's doing great. Okay, both of the kids are in a great mood. This is beautiful. My TV is invisible. What the heck? Why is the TV invisible? This is scary. Why don't you go play skate while we wait for the kids to need something? Okay, that didn't take long. What do you want? You want more fun. Why don't you go play with a toy? Abby. Oh, there's my TV. Oh my gosh. Go attack that crazy kid with the claw. Oh jeez. Attack her. Tickle her. And let's see, does she need anything else? That should be okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, you have room for a snack, Mr. Dimitri. Okay, might want to feed him. Okay, so play with Abby a little bit. Oh, she's going for the dollhouse, that's cool. That's fine. Go feed Dimitri. Let Abby play with some of the toys. Where is Abby? She's, I think she's on the bunny rug. Yeah, she's right by the bunny rug. Now she's heading for the dollhouse, I think? Or is she going for the pegs? Or, yeah, she's going for the peg box, I think. Looks like it. Where's Dimitri going? He's crawling everywhere. My goodness, where are you going, child? 
Where are you? There you are. Ah, Miss Princess is dreaming of lobster. That's so cute. Oh, good. Jules is coming home. Wondrous. Okay. Aww. Does that mean they're even better friends than they were before? Let's see. He's friends with Abby. Oh, goody. He's good friends with little Dimitri. Awesome. That's helpful. Because one of his job requirements, as we looked at a minute ago, is to have friendship with the kids. Alright, go use the toilet. And let's see, what's this kid need? Come on. What's Miss Abby need? Abby? Abby my darling. Do you need anything? You want more fun. Well, you're doing things that give you fun. And you're eating. And you have room for a snack. This is good. Okay. Come on. Thingy. There we go. Alright. Does that mean you're lonely, Dimitri? That little sign over your head? You lonely? Oh no! He's terribly lonely! Go attack him with the claw and tickle him and snuggle him. Go. Go, Daniel, go. Go, go, go. Hi, Julia. Yay, she's home, guys. Let's see. She's super stressed out. I kind of wish she was the one who was neurotic right now, but oh well. Alright, I'm gonna let her have some salad. And then what can she do to get her fun up? I don't know. I'll probably let her take a nap, because she seems pretty tired, and it's still quite early. And then I'm going to have her discover some potions, because she really needs to get her logic up. Yay! There you go. Play with little Dimitri. That works. Ah, man. She looks so much better, guys. I cannot get over it. Yay. Okay. What do you need now, Dimitri? You good? You good? What's this? He wants more social? Okay. Uh, toss him in the air. And perhaps attack him with the claw again. And then maybe put him down? Then he should be good, hopefully. Alright, what's Ab's need? What's Abby need? You're having fun? She's in a good mood? Okay, great. Alrighty. What about Princess? What's Princess need? Oh no! Princess needs loved. All she needs is love! Oh, I know what... Jules can do to get her stress down. Once she's done with her salad, she can play with Little Miss Princess because she is a cat person, so that will give her a good mood. Alrighty, feed her a treat and talk to her. Let her sniff your hand. There we go. And maybe pet her. And let's see, play, have fun with her. Alright, what's Daniel need to do now? How's this one? Dimitri's a little bit smelly. Okay, let's change him on the changing table. Oh. Oh, why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep doing that, Daniel? If anyone knows why Daniel keeps holding his head in his hands and practically crying without crying, please let me know, because I'm quite curious why he keeps doing that. All right, Abby wants social. All right, attack with the claw. The claw. <laughs> oh man. Okay, and hmm. Let's see. What now? What now? What now? Toss her in the air. Okay. Yay! Changing baby diapers. Playing with the kitty. Oh my gosh, glitching into the couch. That was terrifying looking, not gonna lie. Aww. Julia and her kitty cat are so cute. Ah! I really, really love this household just because they have all the little toddlers around because of his daycare. And also, of course, Princess is so cute. Oh my gosh. Ah! You guys! Kitty and baby! He's so cute! Oh my goodness! Picture! Picture! Okay! <laughs> Yay! Ah, see? Yeah, she does get a good mood lit. Playtime! Nothing is more enjoyable than spending time in the company of cats. I could not agree more. Okay. Although I do really love dogs and other animals as well. Like, seriously, if it's an animal, I love it. But cats are my favorite. <laughs> okay. Oh good, only one more hour. This is going 
This feels like it's going so much faster than last time. Maybe it's because I had a better idea what to expect, because it's been several months since I've played a game with a daycare person, so I wasn't 100% sure what it would be like anymore. Okay, good. Jules isn't stressed anymore. Good. Yay. Alrighty. This one should be doing well. Go ahead and put her down after the next social, because by that point, her family, or a random stranger, because the game seems to put random strangers out here to bring the babies. Okay, good. <laughs> wow, Dmitri Ivanov is in a great mood today. You did a good job. Yay! And the same for Abby. Awesome. Yes, they're both great again. Woohoo! I'm awesome. Okay, not really, but I know what I'm doing with this daycare thing, apparently, so that's good. Alright, Julia. What's this? Oh, you're going to be sniffed by little Miss Princess. Aww. That's so cute! Let's see. You want to sniff her? Oh, you already sniffed her. Oops. Let's see. Be brushed again, because... That's cute. That's always cute. And it gives little Miss Princess a good mood. See? Brushed. Ah, the infinite joys of a newly brushed coat. Okay. Daniel, what do you need to do? You can play video games and you need to discover a potion before you go to bed. You don't need to bathe. You're clean right now anyway. Eh. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Go discover a potion, Julia. And try not to blow yourself up this time. That would be good. I mean, it was very entertaining, but I really want to show off at least one potion in this part if I can. That would be really good. Okay. Fill up Princess's food bowl. And then play a racing video game. Alright. Come on, Jules. Change. Get changed. Oh, wait. Before you play a video game, Daniel, why don't you fix what that dead gum raccoon gave us? This horrible mess. Thanks a lot, raccoon. Humph! I don't like that raccoon. He's so mean. He knocks over my trash, and I do not appreciate it. Okay, go play you a video game after you fix the trash. Alright. Come on, Jules. I know it's gross out there. Your boyfriend will fix that pretty soon, though. Alright. Come on, Miss Julia. Madam Julia. Discover a potion, please. Try not to blow yourself to pieces. That would be really helpful. Oh good, there's Daniel in the corner picking up that horrible, nasty mess left by that dead gum raccoon. Yeah. Big mini. We need a name for that raccoon. What should we name the raccoon? I dub him Meanie for now, but if anyone comes up with a better idea, leave, in, leave it in the comments. I, I would love to know what your name for that big mean raccoon would be. <laughs> I would dearly, dearly love to know. Ooh, yay! She has level 2 logic now, that's good. That should mean she's able to discover more potions. Not a telescope. You're not getting a telescope. Ooh, make a stink juice potion. Why not? Experimenting with potions is an adventure of discovery into the wonders of science. Your sim wants to make a stink, boost, stink juice potion on the Catalyst Chemistry Lab Station. Heck yes. Oh, good, that's actually increasing her fun. I had no idea that it would do that. That's cool. Alright, Jules. Once you either discover something or blow yourself up, I will let you go to bed, because it's getting kind of late. Alright. And then... What's this? Be sat on. Aw, that's adorable! I want Princess to sit on you, because that's really cute! Come on, Jules, discover something. You're so tired. You want to go to bed. I want you to be able to go to bed, but I don't want you to go to bed till you've discovered something or blown yourself up. One of the two. Mm -hmm. One of the two. Come on, Jules. Let's do this. Come on, Julia. Julia, Julia, Julia. Learn something. Learn something. 
Please learn something. Learn something. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that's never gonna cease to amuse me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One day she'll learn a potion, but I guess today's just not a, that day yet. Alright, I'm gonna skip into the morning and I will be right back. Okay, I actually decided I'm going to end this part here. I hope that you all enjoyed it and be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And I will see you in the very next video. Bye!